with a world-class state, Fonterutoli, actually the Castello di Fonterutoli. It's located in Castellina in Chianti, one of the original historic areas where Chianti was born, and in fact where Chianti Classico is made. Fonterutoli, therefore, makes a Chianti Classico that's going to be different than that made elsewhere, and we're going to ask, what is unique about this wine? Uh, the unique of this wine is the terroir. Uh, and uh, well, Sangiovese matched perfectly with this Castellina terroir that we have vineyards starting from 200 level above meter till 500 level. And you have wine with a lot of elegance, uh, but you know, listen, it's a very good body uh, that make, I make you know, a big difference together uh, comparing with other, uh, other location in Chianti Class. And it's our strength. To be different. So, for example, the Chianti Classicos are all very different, but all very great. Just like we have in Bordeaux, the wines of Margot and the wines of Poyac, or the wines of Musigny and the wines of Volnay. So, in Chianti Classico, we can have different types of Chianti. How how can you, or maybe you cannot, recognize a Chianti from Gaiole from one of Castellina, or or it's just too hard? Uh, the, the, I, I try to tell you in a in really few words. The, the Chianti cla, cla, Classic of, of Castellina normally is much more warm, much more solare, as you understand. Blessed by sunlight, so it's a more solar, friendly, if you will, style. And the other, Gaiole is a little bit more austero. While Gaiole, which has vineyards usually located at higher altitudes, where there's a cooler microclimate, is usually a more austere wine, wine that requires time to age. Exactly. So thank you very much, and I hope this helps you understand that all Chianti Classicos are great wines, but just like the other great wines in the world, there are nuances and differences to each one, and that is the beauty of wine. Grazie.